Kevin D. Williamson is a writer for the National Review, which is a conservative publication, and he made some interesting comments both on Twitter and in an interview. A man named Charles Johnson heard Williamson say that abortion should be treated like homicide. That's so insane, I don't know where to begin. So he reached out to him on Twitter to clarify his position. He said, quote, What about the politicians who vote in favor of legal abortion? Should we charge them too? Williamson says, Yes, if I had my way, the law would address the entire criminal architecture. Okay. He's saying every politician who voted in favor of abortion should be brought up on murder charges. That's more than half of them. Okay, I don't even need to provide a counter-argument. I love stories like this, because their words say it all, don't they? He continues, this is a question for him, quote, But following this thought to its logical conclusion, you'd also charge doctors with murder, and nurses, and hospital staff? Williamson says, quote, I'm torn on capital punishment generally, oh, well thank you, but, oh boy, Treating abortions as homicide means what it means. Yes, I believe the law should treat abortion like any other homicide. Then the guy says, thanks for clarifying that you really believe that. I thought you were joking, but you really are that bloodthirsty. Now, in terms of how Williamson wants to do the death penalty for women who get abortions... Here it is. Quote, I have hanging more in mind. So, a writer for what's viewed as one of the top conservative publications in the country has just advocated that women who get abortions should be hanged. And every politician who ever voted in favor of abortion should also be hanged. Why is it that Democrats always talk about a Republican war on women? I don't understand this. It Maybe is it because, I got it, that some of them want them hanged. Now, I get it. How many times have I brought this up on the show? I am a genuine, true moderate on the issue of abortion. I get that at some point there's a line you draw and it becomes much more of a moral conundrum. At the point of viability, it's that for me. At the point of the nervous system developing, it's that for me. But before that, it's all the woman's choice because we liter you literally can't have any pain in the fetus because the nervous system isn't developed yet. So to try to pretend like that's the same as murdering a 43-year-old guy who's an accountant in Tuscaloosa... You're out of your fucking mind to believe that. We're talking about gametes and zygotes and embryos and pregestation fetuses to try to whitewash the obvious, gigantic, gaping differences between that and literal murder. You're purposely being dense. You're trying not to see the reality. You're going to kill women for that? You're going to kill women for that. Shh. And somebody brought up on Twitter. I love this. Somebody said, well, wait, 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 wait. Let's say it's your wife. You know what his response was? Crickets! Couldn't respond. Couldn't respond because that's a fucking checkmate. Because he knows and I know and everybody knows. Oh, if it's his wife? Oh, honey, okay. All right, we, I just, we got to get it done. Okay, let's just go. Uh, I won't think about it. I won't talk about it. Just get it done. Let's go. Let's go. Abortion time. What if, what if it's rape? Oh, no. Oh, no. Somebody asked him that, too. He didn't say anything. Shh, my position cannot be defended, so I will not defend it, but I'll stick by it. That's what he does. What if it's your wife was raped? Okay. Your wife was raped. It's only five days in. It's a pile of goo we're talking about. Okay. You're a day in. Just take the morning after pill. You're one day in. Just take the morning after pill. Not murder! Murder! Even though my wife was raped, and it's the morning after pill, it's the same as murder. Hang my wife. Do you really want to do that? No, you don't want to do that. This is why we get so angry, because there's no real debate happening in this country. There's no 
There's no two legitimate sides having legitimate disagreements with two respectable positions. You have one side that's sane, that's rational, that's normal, okay? They're willing to see nuance and complexity, and they're not going to gloss over things that are clearly different. And then you have the other side, just 100% pure ideologue. I have married myself to the position that abortion is wrong always. Uh, I'm stuck to that. There's no moving from it whatsoever. I'm not going to oscillate a single centimeter. So then everything that comes after it is just going to be me rationalizing. You could hit me with any kind of uh, mitigating circumstance you want, and I'm just going to gloss right over it. So, uh, rape, no. Incest, no. Life of the mother, no. Uh, the Fetus is gonna die anyway. There's a fatal defect in the fetus. No, no, you abort murder. It's murder. You know, the final thing I'll say about this is there are places in the world that agree with Kevin D. Williamson. Saudi Arabia, Iran, other fundamentalists, Muslim places. The Taliban probably leading the charge on their agreement with Kevin D. Williamson on this particular issue. So, the next time you hear this clown of all clowns arguing, oh, fundamentalism, Islam is a scourge, it's terrible, it's wrong, just understand, on some very key issues, he actually agrees 100% with them.